we will see how to set up a virtual environment for Zengo. So let's move to the VS Code terminal here. What is a virtual environment? What is the term virtual environment refers to in Python? Basically a virtual environment or you can say the name VENV, VENV, right? Is an isolated workspace for Python projects. It allows you to install the dependencies separately for each project, which will result in avoiding the conflicts between the different packages. Do you understand? Okay, okay, I'm, I'm giving you the example. So, assume that there are two projects by the name project A and project B. And think about that if the project A is using the Zango version of 3.2 and if the project B is using the Zango version of 4.2. So in order to install the Zango version of 3.2 and then 4.2, what will it do? It will just override the version 3.2, which will break the project A, which is necessary for you. So it's not the right situation now. You have to install the virtual environment. You have to create a virtual environment which will isolate the dependencies and preventing the conflicts. Because different projects may require different versions of Zengos or may require different libraries. Right? So now we will move ahead to see how to install Zengo or oh sorry, how to install or how to create the virtual environment. So firstly, we need to install the virtual env, virtual env, which will, which is just a workspace for all the environments, for all the isolated environments, right? So in our terminal, I will run the command that install virtual env. As I have already installed the virtual env, now it will show that requirement already satisfied, but it will run properly in your device if you haven't installed it right so this allows us to create the isolated environments for different projects now the step two what will it do step two will create a virtual environment in order to create a virtual environment i have firstly navigate to my project folder and i will run the required command right so i will uh, I will navigate to my project folder whose name is my project. So to navigate to the project folder, I will use CD. Okay. I am in my, my project folder. Then I will create a new folder here, Python minus M VNV and VNV. What will it, this command, this command will create a VNV folder in my, my project folder. Okay. Where uh, what is the uh, what is the main uh, importance of VENV folder? It will create all the dependencies. No, it will store all the dependencies. Okay. Now here you can see my uh, v VENV folder has been created, which includes some sort of things, uh, which are built in. Don't worry about it. Which are built in in the Zengo. Okay. Now I will activate the virtual environment. How I will activate the virtual environment? Firstly, if you are on Windows like I am presently on my windows. So how, how I will activate the virtual environment? I'll just type VNV, move to scripts folder inside it. You can see here in VNV I have scripts and in scripts, I will just do activate. This for windows, right? But if you install it on Mac, it on a Mac or you can say a Linux system, then you have to write another command. I'm showing you the command here. I will not run it because it will not work. You can write source VNV. Then there is a folder named bin there. And, and then you will have to activate. Just run this command. You will activate the virtual environment in your Mac. As I am on my windows, so I will do accordingly scripts and then activate wait okay now i have activated the virtual environment 
once activated you will see the v and v appear before your terminal prompt here you can see that v and v has been appeared before your terminal prompt okay now i will install zengo inside my virtual environment how i will install it's very easy to install zengo you can simply write pip install zengo over here and it will install the zengo inside our virtual environment without affecting the global python installation okay uh, it's just installing please wait for a few seconds okay okay let's go install install mm, otherwise i have to fast forward this video it will take one or two minutes okay now i will check that whether the zengo has been installed in my virtual environment or not yeah. virtual environment or not python zengo and i will check the version of my zengo 5.1.7 it means that my zengo has been installed properly zengo is successfully installed now now i can work inside this virtual environment what if uh, now we are moving to the last step it's not for the activating the environment it's for deactivating the environment now you are done with the virtual environment and you want to explore outside that environment you can deactivate the virtual environment by using just the command deactivate and will deactivate the virtual environment okay it will return you to the system's default python environment right now i am in my system's default python environment you can't see ve and we are here okay fine so what's the conclusion over here how to set up a virtual environment for zengo i have explained in this video hope you are clear with this concept and if you found this helpful hit the like button and uh, turn on the notifications for more zengo tutorials okay so see you in the next video thank you guys thank you for listening too patiently thank you bye bye